Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection. Here still on Kirby Superstar. Yay! Now we're gonna take on the last game on here, the Milky Way Wishes. Well, not entirely true. We haven't tried Samurai Kirby yet, but we'll get to that. We'll do that last. Milky Way Wishes, five star difficulty, holy crap. You must stop the sun and moon from fighting. Oh no, not Sold and Luna. Uh what is this? Is this your first time playing Milky Way Wishes? Yes it is. What is this? Teach me, please. You can't copy enemies' abilities in this game. Don't worry, there's a better way to do it. It's called the Deluxe Copy Ability. You just touch the statue and become that ability. That one I already knew. That was not new. Oh, shit. Ability forever. You can select acquired abilities. Oh! Oh, it's like Mega Man. That is awesome. Okay. Mega Man it is. You can select different abilities during play. Press X to cycle through. Okay. Alright. That's cool. That's cool. I get that. I get it. Oh. If you want to... If you come to a dead end and can't break through, you must find another hidden ability. Oh, okay. So it's even more like Metroid than the other one. It's like a Metroid Mega Man type thing. Oh, man. This is even better than the other one. You get to keep your power-ups. Okay. If anything's like Mega Man, this sounds like it is. Oh, what the fuck? What are we supposed to do? This was like travel to different planets? Uh, let's try this. The forest? The the mint ice cream cone first? The heck, man? Alright, let's try this out. If anything, this seems more like, like Metroid-esque than the last one did. Then, I mean, the other one's like Metroid in the sense of like... I don't know, you need power-ups to get through, but this one, if you get to keep your power-ups as you go, this is definitely going to be more like Metroid. Okay, is this a dead end already? Nope, this is just one of those ones where you go back through the door and it'll take you to a new one. Okay, so you can't, that's right, you can't take powers. The only way to get a new power is to find the statues, to actually unlock the power-ups. So in which case, we're just going to be killing enemies by shooting them against each other and collecting, oh, I thought those were stars to collect. Never mind. Uh, let's go in the door first. Why not? Can't hurt, right? Maybe it can? I don't know. Whatever. Until we find a power-up, I guess it doesn't really matter at all. I wonder what we're supposed to actually accomplish in this mode. Are we actually, like, supposed to, like, get all the power-ups? Is, like, is that the goal here? Is that the final goal? Is that the final countdown, so to speak? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Anyway, this seems like a completely dead end, so let's just go back into the door we came from and finish going to the right, because it seemed like there's more to do over here. Okay. The hell, every time I go back, I'm in a new area. That's not what I want. I don't want to be in a new area all the time. That's not cool, man. I do like not having copy... or, yeah, basically not being able to copy stuff. Not that it's not fun to have abilities, but... Just saying it because it's easier to keep track of, uh... It's like, instead of having to always try to get a new ability to do stuff, it's easier to just suck things up and shoot them. It really is. It's easier to keep track of. Although I do miss having Poppy Bros. Poppy Bros. Man, I need to explore all the area before I go in a door. Because it seems like going in and back out is completely not cool. Let's go in the, the, the lower door. I don't know where the hell I am. Okay, finally a power-up. Our first one. The fighter power-up. Cool. So how do we cycle through them? Can we take our power-up off, I wonder? It did... Um... I don't know. I don't know if we could take our power off or not. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. But we got our first one. Fighter. Yay. And I wonder if each world only has, like, one ability. I guess we'll find out. Fighter... Fight. Fighting our way. What the heck? Can I not... Can I not go that way? Is the water flowing too hard for me to even try? Well, that's just lame. I didn't think that was actually the, the case. I thought the power-up was permanent. What the heck? Wait, I thought the power-up was permanent. Oh, okay, it is. All you gotta do is press X and you get your power back. So, it technically isn't the same. You lose your power-up. What the fuck? 
the fuck, game? Why do you lie to me with, with such... Why do you tell me such lies? Just such lies and deceit. Alright, so can we use this power-up for anything important? Or, like, anything productive, I should say? Can we... Can we kill anything? Where are we? I feel so lost. Oh, look! Another power-up. Take it. Freeze man power-up. Ice. Nice. I feel like I was already in this area. Whatever. Who cares? Why question such things? Ice power-ups. Yeah, ice blocks. Champion, and you can ice skate with ice skate Kirby. And freeze things and kick blocks at people. Super fun. All right, now I'm just going around in circles. Come on now. Let's get some more. Let's get some more productive, shall we? Let's see who's over here first. Looks like a dead end. That's fine. That's all well and good. All right. So now that we're in an area where I can actually get back to where I was, let's see if I could do something with this frozen power up and like the water. Maybe that'll let me freeze the water so I can get by. I don't know. It seems like I need the flame power up to even do all of this area. Um. Yep. Yeah, that looks like a negatory on the flame. I mean, on the water. So it looks like we might need to exit this area. Can we exit? Like, how do you get back to the... How do you get back? Or do... is that even, like, a, a thing? I don't know. I'm a little confused. Just a little. Just not... I'm just not exactly sure what I need to do. Oh, 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 just... Oh. Ah, screw it. I don't need to get it back. You know why? Because I can just press this button and cycle through it. There we go. Okay, you break the ice with ice. That doesn't make any sense. Not not logically, but hey, whatever. It makes sense in the sense that you can figure out what power-up, based on what power-up it needs, based on what power-up you have. Ice on ice. Should probably be checking these doors. One of them is bound to have a power-up in it. Let's check this one first. Okay, this one... Looks like a dead end, maybe? Maybe not? We'll find out momentarily! Okay, never mind. This is this spot. Or, wait. Never mind. Let's go back in here real quick. I'm not gonna go that way yet. Oh, what the hell? I'm back here again? Fuck my life. I died. Alright. I'm gonna stick with the ice power for now. I wanna go back to that room. Not this one. Gah! Lame. Yes, this one. This is where I wanted to be. Everything just, like, cycles through in circles. It's, like, really irritating. Come on. Give me more power-ups. Or give me an ending or something. I just don't know what, like, what all I'm trying to accomplish here. I just don't know. What is it that I'm trying to accomplish? Am I, am I trying to get through a level here? Like, is this, a, is this a level I'm actually getting through? I just don't understand exactly what I'm doing yet. Besides doing getting the power-ups and all that. That's the only part I understand. See, let's cycle through this for a second just to see where I where these all take me, so I can actually get back to there. Um, wonder if I should look for more power ups first. Cause I guess I guess I never know if there's gonna be more power ups until I look, right? I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go into that like one that was inside the tree. I want to just to see what's there. I really would like to see what's inside the tree. What's inside the tree? Yes, more power-ups. Okay, I'm glad I went back and checked. So now we got the cutter, which one of the ones I actually like to use. Ice and fighter, not my favorites. But cutter, I like it. Cutter's actually fun. So let's go ahead and explore this little area now that I have another power-up. Let's see what's in here. This one is another looking different looking spot. Yay. Yay for more confusing areas where I have no map to know if I'm checking all the right places. Guess you just have to realize you're going in circles and keep trying new areas. That's really all I can say. Wait, this actually looks like an end. It's got the extra sparkly. Oh god, not this asshole again. Alright, well, um, blade's working, but it's not working that well. Let's try ice. Okay, ice seems to be the way to go. Hell yeah, ice is kicking ass. Yeah, if you want to kill trees, 
freeze the shit out of them. And that's how you kill trees. Fountain of Dreams, yay! I like the Fountain of Dreams. Awesome. So, this uh, mode is actually like levels? Holy crap. Are you serious? This load is, this level, oh god, levels? Oh man. This is gonna take a long time, isn't it? Well, let's try to do a second level then. Because if we can get through more than one level, otherwise this is gonna be like a long fucking mode. Holy crap. I can see why people like Kirby Superstar as their favorite uh, Kirby game. It's understandable now. Because of the different types of modes and shit. That's actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually a really cool just concept to have all these different modes. I think it works the best with Kirby if you think about it. I mean, I think I said in the Revenge of Meta Knight sequence that I liked having the straightforward Kirby levels. But that's just like an eat to each his own type of thing. To be quite honest. I mean, not everyone likes those straightforward type of levels. They like the exploration like this. Like this type of game. Like these Metroid-esque type levels. And then being able to switch like Mega Man powers. That's actually really... This is probably going to be my favorite mode. It's actually really cool. Just because of the fact that you can switch your power-ups at will. Once you unlock them, of course. It's not like you just get the power-ups automatically. But it's like Mega Man bosses. You gotta beat the boss to get the power-up. Well, you gotta find the power-up to have it. I don't care what anyone says. This, mo this mode is more like Metroid than Great Cave Offensive. Like, this is the closest thing to, to Metroid as there's been, for sure. More power-ups. Oh, nope, no. This is like a weird, watery-looking area. Weird, watery area. You can actually use your umbrella underwater? I don't think I knew that. That's a new one to me. That's news to moi. To prevent this mode, Milky Way wishes from taking forever, like episodes wise, because I don't know how many worlds there are out there in that map. I didn't look around the whole little universe map I started in, but that first area took me like 10 minutes to figure out, so I'm probably going to try to do two in an episode just to get... So this doesn't take me like 10 episodes to get through Kirby's Milky Way Wishes. And I'm guessing you need most of the power-ups to do some stuff. But then again, maybe you don't. I don't know. It's hard to say for sure. How about you don't punch your mic, Funky? Huh? Punching your mic is not the way to go. Now before I go in this door, is there anything in the water? There is a door. Let's check the door. Anything in the door? Absolutely something. Maybe. I don't know. Another door, of course. Which just leads you back to the beginning, so that's a completely pointless door. Awesome. Here's another door. I bet you this is pointless, too. Yay, we found two pointless doors. Let's celebrate two pointless doors, shall we? Damn, how do you... Oh, God, I want the one-up. I want it. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know which way is the way to go. Great, this is a fucking trial and error segment. I love it. Not really. Okay, so let's go this way. Go up. And go this way. We'll go up again. Up worked out nicely. Just don't go that way. Go down. Oh, no. I uh, probably wanted to go in the middle. Yep. Fucked up. Alright, so down here. You know what? Let's go down right here and see where it goes. Just to see. And we'll go up. And there's a door here. Yes. This could better be the door. Please be the door. Please be the door. Damn it. Not the door. So where the hell am I going? Nope. Not this way. Not this way. Ugh. It's like if you go the way... If you go one way, you have to go that way. Son of a bitch. Alright, so up here. Oh, there's a power-up in the middle. I didn't even see that. I didn't see that power-up in the middle. Okay, well, apparently that's what you want to get to. The power-up in the middle. Okay, so you want to go up from here. Aha! Got it. Got it. Alright, and this better lead me the fuck out of here. Nope. God, we still haven't figured out how to get the hell out of here. Then what the hell? forgot which way I was going. Well, we got a new power-up. That's one positive note. And it's Beam, which is one of my favorites. Maybe I was supposed to go that way? I don't know. No, this is... Ugh. All right, this has got to be the way the fuck out. Finally, some land. Oh, yes. It's actually the end of the area. That's fantastic. Oh, of course, there's a boss. I forgot. That's all right. I'll take a boss. And is it going to be the whale dude again or what? Oh, my help if I move. Yes, it is. It is the whale dude again, which uh, told me by you guys is called Fatty Whale. Big fucking surprise. 
will Kamehameha his ass. Uh, watch out for the falling rocks. Yes, just like the road the road sign says. Watch out for falling rocks. Aw, oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I was hoping I would uh, he would miss. Ah, fucker. Okay. Charge it up. Kamehameha. Charge it up. Kamehameha. Charge it up. Kamehameha. Alright. That was good stuff. That was good stuff. We almost got him dead with that little sequence right there. It was nice. Yeah, fuck your little tidal wave, bitch. And screw your falling rocks, too. Die! Fuck you, fat whale. Death to the fat whale. And that actually did not take as long as the first area. But that's because the first area was one big ass cluster fuck of back and forth ness ness ness. This one was not anywhere near as bad. It was just like a annoying ass little maze of amazingness. Alright, so that's two areas. I wonder if I should just go to them in order. How many more are there? There's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five more to go. And this one looks like fucking French fry, French fry land, doesn't it? Fucking McDonald's French fry box land. <laughs> All right. Next time we'll go to this third one and we'll try to take out two again. So I'll see you guys next time. We'll keep going through the Milky Way wishes. Peace.